What's going on guys, it's Suk and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be showing you the results that I got when benchmarking the 2020 MacBook Air. Also, I would like to thank you all for the growth that we've seen on the channel over the last few weeks and that we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And if you are new around here, then be sure to subscribe clicking the bell icon to be notified of when I upload a new video. But without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So I do want to let you know that this is the quad core i5 model and that I have already uploaded a video in which I tested the i3 dual core model, which I will leave links to down below in the description if you want to check that video out. The first benchmarking application that I ran on this MacBook Air was Geekbench 5. Now Geekbench gives a score for both single and multi-threaded tasks and after these have been performed, it will then give a score based on its performance and the time taken to perform them. With this, I got a single core score of 1013 and a multi core score of 2327. Once again, using Geekbench 5, I ran their compute test to see how well the OpenGR and Metal Engine ran through Geekbench. Now, with this, you can see I got a score for the OpenGL test of 6513, whereas when testing Metal, I got a score of 7283. The next testing application that I ran was once again from Geekbench, this time using their slightly older lineup of tests found in Geekbench 4. Identical to how we saw in Geekbench 5, Geekbench 4 bases its scores off of time and performance. Now with this I got a single core score of 4981 with a multi core score of 11910. Once again, I wanted to see how well the OpenGR and Metal Engine ran through Geekbench 4. Now this time with OpenGR, I got a score of 43,836. With Metal, I got a score of 36,399. The next test that I ran was GFX Bench Metal. Now GFX Bench runs a number of different tests which vary from higher and lower levels of intensity. Now in the interest of saving time, I have calculated the average for these results, but of course, as always, I shall show you each individual result. Now the average that I got for the higher intensive task was around 40.53 frames per second, whereas for the lower intensive tasks, I got an average frame rate of 78.97. I then ran a disk speed test and got consistent results of around 1500 megabytes per second, both read and write. Next up, we have NovaBench. Now, NovaBench is a good general benchmark as it not only tests the CPU and GPU, but also tests the storage and the system memory. Now, for the test, I got a score of 1,168. I then ran a network speed test and got download speeds of around 217 megabytes per second with upload speeds of around 19.2 megabytes per second. Next I ran Cinebench. Now Cinebench is a good benchmarking program as it tests each individual thread and then gives a score similarly to how Geekbench gives its scores based on the time taken to complete the task. Now with this Mac Air, I got a Cinebench score of 730. Next I did a timed export with Final Cut Pro, exporting a 5 minute 24 second video file to H.264 with background rendering turned off at both Full HD 1920 x 1080 and UHD 4K at 3840 by 2160. And as you can see and probably expected, the 4K video file took a little longer to export, but not by too long. The last series of tests that I performed came from Unigen benchmarking tools, and the first of these was the Heaven benchmarking test, which is a heavy CPU and GPU test, which will then give a general score on its performance and then an average frame rate for when rendering out a particular scene. Now for Heaven, I got an average frame rate of 20.4 frames per second with a score of 514. Once again, from Unigen benchmarking tools, the final test that I performed was their Valley test, which performs a very similar set of tests to the previous one. Now with this, I got an average FPS of 20.6 and a score of 861. 
So that will be it for today's video. If you are new around here and are yet to do so, then go ahead and subscribe, clicking the bell to be notified of when I upload any new videos. If you have got any questions with anything you've seen in this video, then be sure to leave them down below in the comment section, or alternatively, you can hit me up on my social media, links to which can of course be found in the description. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.